how do you know if you're in your heart or if you're in your head? It's a very valid question. And the only answer I can give is if one, if you're thinking about it, then you probably already have your answer. And two, there is a visceral, a physical feeling that you get when you are in, like if you have a gut-wrenching fear or feeling, you feel that. Like literally you feel it in your stomach. If you are in your heart, you can literally feel your heart expand, your shoulders go back, and you're just like settled in this area of your body. And if you're thinking in your head, everything starts to kind of almost fold in a little bit, like maybe not fully, but a little bit, you'll start to feel yourself fold in because all that energy is going up to this processing center. And suddenly you feel very heavy in your head because everything's like pulling up to support this. So. Yeah, that's good awareness. Yeah. You make a really good point. If you're if you're overthinking it, if you're wondering if, if you're in it, then you're probably not. Um, so that's good. But I, I think it's also important to highlight that we've we've all been in it in some way. And it could be just while we're simply taking a walk or a jog, or while we're driving, or while we're with our family, or um, painting, or playing sports or in business or I mean there's so many different approaches that it could be uh, and oftentimes we we do have the ability uh, to notice it without having to drop or to pull back up into the head and that's that's something that I think was for me was was a great awareness the more that I brought a, intention you know, or attention to it when I was in those moments or am in those moments, then it actually allows me to dive deeper without having to pull back into the head. Because like sometimes I'd be like, oh, I'm I'm in it, and then <laughs> and then I'm like over here yeah, and there, and then I overthink, and then it's like, oh no, I'm back, and I lost it, you know. And it's and so that's that's and the athletes will say that they're like, oh, I was in the zone, and then I just completely lost it. And it's it is a state that we can not only activate but actually remain in. Um, and there is a way to effectively bring attention and awareness to it without pulling ourselves out of it. And the more that we bring that attention and awareness to it, the more that we can be intentional in activating it. And so that's kind of, that's been a huge, huge benefit and help uh, for me and one that I'm actually currently practicing right now. Well, you can't tease people and say there's a way and then not share the way that you, you stay in that heart centered space, because that's one of the other things that when we talk to people, it's okay. So how do I get out of brainstorming? Because we've been taught, I know coming up from a corporate culture, brainstorming sessions were all the rage, right? Let's get together. Let's brainstorm. No idea is off limits. They really were because if they didn't like your idea, they would shoot you down in a heartbeat but no ideas are off limits. Let's get in there. And so you really start thinking through. So how do you get from that trained approach to, okay, now they're asking me to be in this heart-centered space where I'm feeling into all the things that could be possible in my world and offering that not from a thought perspective of could this work according to the market and according to no it's really and truly in the realm of all things that I know to be possible what's coming forward and there is nothing that is out of bounds at this moment let's just sync up and move forward from that space of love, connection, and all things possible. How do you get from here to there? 